want you to remember one thing, brothers and sisters. These beings here came here to the planet to create an illusion so that we um, wouldn't go back to the original setting that we were. Remember, we were reshaping the cosmos. All right, that's why they came here because they found out, they found the source of the reshaping. We were reshaping the entire cosmos, every universe. We were literally reshaping it. Okay? And their main goal, their main objective was to stop us. All right? So understand that we have a problem. All right? Understand that. We have a serious problem here on the planet. And they're not going to let up. They're going to keep um, steady on their path, even in the act of war, the act of real war. They're going to keep steady on their path because they need us to be asleep. They need us to be fast asleep so that we won't go back into that mode of reshaping and building how do we reshape the cosmos we were building here on the planet we've attached ourselves to the cosmos all right some of the most powerful beings ever known right here on this planet kai in the alpha universe in the omega galaxy which actually the omega galaxy has been getting soon to be transferred into the alpha galaxy it's going to be alpha universe and the alpha galaxy all right it's going to be like a a, a, a dielectrical um uh universe and galaxy seriously it's not going to be electromagnetic it's going to be a dielectrical which this is the evolution of it all but we were literally reshaping the cosmos so even though they know that we're going through a state of evolution everything is evolving they're gonna remain steady on their course they're not gonna stop even though they know end times are here, they're not going to stop. All right. They're not just going to stop and say, oh, we're just going to. No, they're going to keep going, which means that we've got to continue to go. You know, myself and the brother was just talking. And I told him, I said, bro, you got to understand. We were reshaping the cosmos. And they were getting ready to be X'd out of ex existence. They're literally going to be X'd out of existence. And, and, and this is, um, and we were, we were doing a collectiveness. I mean, it wasn't only us. It was other brothers and sisters and other galaxies. And when I say we, I say we as a whole, all over the cosmos. So they had enough clones. All right. They had enough clones. If you want to talk about the numbers they had. Hundreds and hundreds of trillions of clones that look just like them in other universes, other galaxies, all over the cosmos. And this is not the only planet that was infiltrated by the system. This is all over the cosmos. You can understand this is a cosmic invasion. This is a cosmic virus. It's not only this planet. But when they went to the main planets in every universe in every galaxy all right like this is the omega galaxy you have the andromeda galaxy then you have the um the um oh what's what's that other uh, galaxy you have the iona the iona galaxy all right um you have the lyrian galaxy you know you have all these different galaxies across this universe where they literally infiltrated. They had enough. They had created enough clones. And then when those clones got into these planets, they recreated more clones, just like what they're doing now. Recreating more clones to keep us asleep, to make us think that everything is just so beautiful and we can just procreate with anyone we want to procreate with. And, and you can be anything that you want to be. Hey, if you want to be a dog, we'll make it. We'll make you a trans animal. You can walk around on all fours and 
And you can eat off the floor and we give you a new name. You know, if you want to be a, you know, a, a trans this, you know, if you want to be a man and we can, and you're a woman, we can make you a man. If you want to be a woman and you're a man, you can, we can do that. They, they make it seem so beautiful. The virus. And they're going strong because they uh, have an agenda to make sure that we don't awaken to this energy, that we don't reawaken. Oh, <sighs> excuse me, that we don't reawaken to this power that we once had. So let's give everybody money. All right. You see all the, the, the everywhere they go. Oh, you're going to give your free phone all over the city. They're oh, we're going to use free phones. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you all this stuff right here. Oh, yeah. You're going to get stimulus checks and all kind of other things. We're going to give you this right here. We're going to, you can do whatever you want to do. And then at the same time, the more powerful brothers and sisters, they're locking them away in prison. Mm-hmm. Got them to sleep under some fake laws that don't exist. Mm -hmm. See, the whole key point is to make sure that we don't get back to that point. This is like all over the cosmos. The virus is everywhere. It's just not here on this planet, brothers and sisters. I'm communicating all the time. It's just not here. We're not alone in this battle. We're not alone in this mess. We just see it right here on our planet. But if you go into the proper modes of um, of astral projection, you will see it. All right. Now they came to the most diabolical, the most evil thing that they could possibly do. Is to separate the brothers and sisters from their souls. <laughs> so that they would not transform so that they would not be a part of this, this powerful shifting. And we're angry. We're angry. This is a pilot planet. They haven't done it on the other planets. But this is a pilot planet. Some of the planet, some of the other planets have been freed actually. Some of the other planets, the brothers just uh, fought very hard and they freed themselves. It took many calendar years. I mean, all of them have the same exact program these inorganic beings have the same exact program all right on all the other planets it's the same program time the calendar dates days of the weeks months of the year might not be the same as here but they had something similar all right so understand that the system they created it's all over the cosmos because all of us were simultaneously reshaping the cosmos. All of us were in a unison uh, 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 faction because we are literally the cosmos in the flesh. All of us. And they fought against us. They fought against us. And they all did the same thing because all of us all over the cosmos, what we did, we created structures. We knew that um, that our, our spiritual bodies and our physical bodies literally had to be linked together. So they found out this this dual, dual, dualism. They found out the dualism that the the the, the, our, the structures connected to the planet um, allows them to connect to their energy to the planet. All right, they they understood that dualism. So they created the they created the illusion so that we would not link back into it. That's why they gave us religion and politics, and money and, and the rap industry and, and the drug industry and, and all these other things, the shoes and the clothes. You know, you think you got all this money that you got power in reality, all this money actually makes you weak, makes you feeble, makes you stupid, makes you literally makes you poor. Those who are poor lack ancestral knowledge when you talk about ancestral knowledge you're talking about what our ancestors did to build and create what our ancestors did to create the power that we needed we were scientists and physicists and you know many other planets across the cosmos brothers and sisters have freed themselves all right 
Don't think that we are all alone. Remember we talked about that business program that they created? That business program is all over the cosmos. It's an illusion to make you think that you are accomplishing something when in reality you're going in a in a in a diabolical circle of lies. It's just a circle of lies. You're going around the same circle, flowing in the same lies, hoping that you can get somewhere when in reality you're not getting anywhere at all. You're dealing, you're dealing with the same thing at the end of the day. It's the same thing over and over and over again. There's different levels of the same garbage. It's like you you on a pile of shit and you put another pile of shit on that top of pile of shit, that on top of that pile of shit and you put another pile of shit on, on top of there. And it's like you're trying to climb up and in the meantime you're sneaking and reeking of the the the, the filth of the system until you actually let go of all this shit and you realize that you can rise, you can ascend. In a manner of spirituality, and you don't have to try to climb this shitty ass letter that at any given time it falls and you're under the filth and, and bile of this entire system and you won't even know how to get up. This is what they created. Remember, they are here to keep us asleep. To make us think that everything is just so fine and beautiful. Oh, yes, the stock market is booming. Oh, yes, you know, businesses are coming. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got jobs everywhere. And in the meantime, what do we say? They took their people and put their people in the same situation so that we could think that everybody's in this together when in reality, their people, their own people, will get the upper hand of us. We've seen it over and over and over again. So now we fight for equality. Instead of literally preparing yourself to destroy the system, we, our folk, our, our brothers and sisters are trying to fight for equality to be equal to someone who's lesser than you. To be equal to an Archon, to be equal to a, Ch a Chitari. These, these these beings literally filth. And they, they have the power of deception. Literally, the power of deception. They can deceive you. And they cause, you know, the, the fucking um, um, Nordics, the Germans, all of them. All of them. They, it's what they do. They make everything seem so beautiful. They came here to make sure that we didn't reawaken. They came here to make sure that we didn't return to that state of mind that we already were at. And they fought against us and caused us to fall. And they're constantly fighting every day. They're finding new ways over and over again. You know, when they say when that Bible said there's nothing new under the sun, this garbage here that we're dealing with, this is new under our sun. We have never had a situation where they say, Oh yeah, there's a pandemic virus and da 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 and everybody gotta get vaccinated. We never had that before. No. No, 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 no. We never had a situation where cargo ships um with product wasn't able to be unloaded at the dock. That's new under the sun. So I guess the Bible lied, huh? Yeah, it did. That's new. Just understand, brothers and sisters, that they are literally working day and night tirelessly trying to find new ways to keep you all asleep. And we, as the original beings, are going to need to waken ourselves, prepare ourselves for what's coming. We have lots of help. We're not in this alone. We have lots of help. This is why we talk about building the structures and the gateways and all these things. This, you got to open up your mind. Stop looking at, stop limit, limiting yourself to something that is unlimited. Stop limiting yourself. 
We've gone through too much as the original beings. We've gone through way too much for us to limit ourselves to something that is so uh, 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 docile. The system is a docile system. It's, it's, it's a dead system. It's not alive. You have to connect it to a battery. The system that we had was connected to nature. It was alive. We had we had a system where we had um, weapons that were connected directly to nature and would fight with us and for us as we fought along. Because remember, there's many battles on this planet. And as, as these inorganic beings have been here a long time and been in the cosmos a long time. You want to talk about six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand calendar years. That's a long time. And we've gone through many battles on this planet. But like we said before, this is the first time our planet has ever been infiltrated by an enemy. And they come in by the numbers. They come in by the numbers. Out in Russia, look at it. Out in Russia, the, the gateways were just, blah, they were just coming in. Blah, blah, you know. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, God damn, there's another one. Here's another one coming in. Here's another one coming in. And they're coming in by the numbers from their home planet through portals. Oh, yeah, this shit is real, brother, sister. This shit is real. This shit is real. They come in. Wow, wow, wow. They're sending their diplomats and warriors. So this is not no ordinary people coming in. These are, these are beings who have information, who have intel. And they're popping in through these portals. I was watching one video out in Russia, and there was a portal that opened up. And one of them beings came through it. One of these inorganic beings came through the portal. He just walked. And there was a truck that was that was uh, 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 coming down this road, coming down the same road where the portal opened up. And it literally hit that plasma gateway. And the truck just, boom, just like was obliterated. They're coming in by the numbers with intel. I understand why Biden is speaking with them. Is, is communicating with Putin. Because they had gateways opening up where their diplomats are coming through gateways, giving them information of things that's happening all over the cosmos, things that's happening in, in our galaxy. I mean, this is how deep this shit is. So don't think that Biden and, and Putin is getting ready to go to war. No, they're working together. They're sharing and in, um, interstellar in, intel. This is interstellar intel that they're that they're sharing between each other. <laughs> this is this is a no, this ain't no joke. This is why you must charge yourself up so that you can use this power and energy through nature and how do you charge yourself up through building and creating. Just like I was talking to the brother tonight, I say a lot of our brothers and sisters, when it comes to say you gotta do some work, they start getting lazy. Brothers sisters start getting lazy. They don't want to put in the work. They just want the power to come. Without the works. It's about to get busy, brothers and sisters. That's why they came. Hmm. Something for you to think about. And this is why they keep continuing to do what they're doing. Think about it.